sausage party. Oh boy, uh, let's talk about this movie. Now, the reason I'm talking about this movie is because this is kind of an odd movie to talk about. Um, but I'm talking about this movie because there's a new Amazon Prime show. And I'm going to be watching this show, so I thought I should talk about the movie first. And I'm, I've always been curious about this movie. So, quick backstory about my experience with this movie. I was not old enough to see this movie when it came out in 2016. I was like... I was 13 at the time, so... Like, I, I wasn't allowed to watch R-rated movies, but basically... I was, I like to scroll through movie websites and stuff. And when I was a teenager, I was scrolling through it. And I see this anime movie coming out called Sasha Park. Click on the trailer. It starts out all cutesy, like these these foods in a grocery store. And then all of a sudden, it gets to this these, this woman who's eating this piece of food. I think it was that scene in the movie where the potato is getting ready to be eaten. And he's all excited. And then it just goes, oh, Jesus Christ! And, and, and they're in pain, and then they're dying, and all the curse. It scarred me. Because I was like, what the fuck is this? You know, at, at that time, I was never really exposed to that kind of content. I was very sheltered when it came to, like, movies and shows. My dad literally would not let me watch Revenge of the Shift. Uh, for multiple years. Because he's like, you gotta be 13, because it's PG-13. I'm like, okay, bro. He eventually loosened up because he knew, I think he knew deep down he couldn't really keep me that sheltered and that I just was going, I want to seek out content. I was always going to eventually do it anyways and be rebellious. So he kind of loosened up and just was like, all right, you do you, but you know, um, but for a while there, I was like that kind of content. And also I, I think people don't realize while there are, people act like this is the first R rated mo animated movie. It's not. Like, but people act like it is. I think that has a lot to do with how rare R-rated animated movies have been since, like, the 70s and 80s. Because every, you know, Fritz the Cat and, like, some of these other, like, 70s weirder animations that almost feel like you're on a drug high watching that shit. Um, those things have been, like, out there in, for you to view and stuff. And they're good movies and stuff, and they made money. And it and it's really a shame Hollywood didn't really catch on. Hey, you know these R-rated anime movies make money, right? But they do. But the thing is, you know that was back in the seventies and eighties. This is twenty sixteen, so you know that was the year of Zootopia, Moana, Finding Dory, like all these kids kids movies, the Angry Birds movie, like all these kids movies that are very kiddie, and also. Animated movies have become so generic at this point that Snossage Party was able to just capture the zeitgeist because it was an R-rated movie like that was a parody of animated movies. Now, it also is much more than that. We'll get into that with this movie. But I think this movie's not great, but I do think this movie has a lot of things to offer. Basically, what's great about this movie, let's start with that, is that like I said, this is really good at capturing this, the thing of animated movies as a parody. This movie is basically Toy Story with with food, right? And it's basically like, oh, these, these, um, and they, you know, the, to the food's alive and they want to be eaten. Just like the toys want to be played with. It's kind of that concept. But then they deconstruct it. And it's, oh, it's actually a metaphor for, like, religion and all these different adult themes. And so that's what I mean, where it is parodying animated movies, but it has deeper things going, right? Just, you know, ignoring all the swearing and the sex and the, the length, uh, like, uh, some of the jokes being raunchy and absurd. The real deeper message of this movie is that, we shouldn't insult one another's beliefs. Nobody has all the answers. Religion doesn't have all the answers. And how people can taint religion. And it has all these different religious commentaries in this movie. And it's actually a very smart movie in that instance. And so I do like a lot of things that this movie has to offer. I think where this movie falters is the animation. I don't want to criticize the animation too hard. Because I get that this was made by a animation team that was being overworked. Not paid enough. And clearly, the people involved 
you know, probably were more talented people than they than this movie would lend you to believe, right? I'm sure these people, this isn't the design of characters that they wanted. I'm sure they wanted something different that's more expressive, but they also weren't given the time and money to resources. So the animation comes across kind of cheap and generic, but also not, like, unwatchable. I think where the animation bothers me is the animation doesn't seem suited to the characters. Like, look behind me. I got this giant kung fu panda standing behind me it, that character design makes sense for jack black's voice to be coming out of. it works right but for this movie like when this fucking hot dog character right here started talking and all of a sudden it was seth rogan's voice it was very jarring because the character design just did not match that and that's for a lot of the celebrity voices in this movie it's like they're just fucking start talking and you're like wait a minute that voice did not make sense to come out of that piece of food. I don't know. I, I, it's a mixed bag of a movie that is very raunchy and very adult. Like, don't watch this with your kids. Like, please don't. It, 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 it's right here. Like, you don't. Uh, but I actually had a good time with it. I, I thought it was... I, I don't know. I liked it more than I thought I would as someone who had not seen this movie and I kind of wish I was old enough to see this movie in the theater just to actually be able to experience an R-rated animated movie in the theater because it's just so fucking rare unless it's anime or something else like that. I just think it's like ridiculous that, uh, you know, we've had so many R-rated animated movies that have been it and successes and Hollywood still doesn't really want to do much with it. But I think this movie definitely opened some doors but at the same time didn't because it's not they're not making a sequel they're doing a tv show which i kind of get after watching this movie while they're doing this tv show it felt weird at first but honestly when you watch the show they built a large world here that actually had some expansion to it and you know they could dive more into some more political ideas throughout this movie and do some cool stuff so i think it's curious i don't know if the show will work we'll see but i do really like what I've seen from uh, this movie so far.